Hi everyone, I'm Katie, artist, business coach and founder of Step Up Create. And today I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about why we can't always be good at what we do or subtitle accepting your shit sometimes. For me, this has been a huge learning, which maybe I haven't completely learned because I am massively self-demanding. I want to be the best at everything I do. I want to succeed. I want people to see me as being professional, as connecting and all of this other stuff, right? So this is probably the same for you. And it's the same for many of my clients, right? So we live in a society that kind of expects us to be consistently excellent at everything we do. And yet we can't. And getting to the point where you admit that to yourself is a really important part of creativity because by putting yourself down this route of it has to be excellent, you're missing out on a whole load of other creative opportunities. And let me put this into context for you. The reason I want to talk about this is because I have just finished the 100 day project. The 100 day project is sort of a worldwide phenomenon for artists and creative people where on the 31st of January, you start painting or drawing or creating something every day and you define your own project. So you say, okay, well for a hundred days, I am going to paint acrylic abstracts on this kind of paper. So this, this is an example, acrylic abstract on handmade paper, same squares, 20 centimeters on this uh, 30, um, 32 centimeter square paper. And I'm gonna do that every day for a hundred days. That was my challenge, okay, to myself. And I started out and, you know, whenever you start something out, it's kind of like, oh, you know, honeymoon period, oh, it's going really well. I'm, I'm able to d dedicate a lot more time than, than I would normally. The idea was not that this took hours and hours of my time, but actually that it was just an hour a day, something like that. Um, and then as time goes on, I started getting paintings that I really didn't like and I kept doing it anyway. For me, one of the learnings was the importance of doing it anyway, because from the paintings that I didn't like, I got new ideas for ones that I did like, or I learned how not to mix paint or ways in which the, the paint works in a different way. This is obviously a metaphor for how things could work in business. So in business, we don't have a choice, right? Often we have to do a presentation. We have to um, consistently hand in that report or um, hold that meeting or whatever. And some days the meeting will go well and sometimes it won't go as well. And what often happens to my clients is that they then have this uh, sort of self-demanding nature, this voice in their head that's saying, okay, that was rubbish, you should up your game, you should be better, blah, 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 depending on their family member who probably uh, inculcated this self-demanding nature in them, the voice will be different. Mine's my father's. Uh, anyway, and you, you get into this case where you're like, well, I'm maybe I'm not as good as I should be. When actually you probably are, it's just that you're telling yourself you're not. So this is really important in creativity, in life. If we start telling ourselves we're not as good as we should be, it's not very helpful because what happens? we start to believe it and the painting goes downhill or the presentations get worse or we start kind of mm, getting into this um, hamster wheel where we don't feel good about ourselves and therefore other people don't feel good about us and, and all of the rest of it. So what's the really important thing is to accept that sometimes you're shit. Now, <laughs> there's, a, there's a, um, a contemporary painter who uh, recently said to, to a group of us that, only one in seven of his paintings is excellent and only one in seven of his paintings is you know marketable or whatever and I thought one in seven one in seven is not bad and I reckon that almost one in seven of these this big wad of paintings that I've done maybe one in seven is okay and maybe one in seven of what you're doing is okay as well and probably if you're classifying it as okay it's actually brilliant uh, it's just that you're being pretty hard on yourself. So accepting that sometimes you're just not as good and sometimes it's interesting to accept that and then do the thing anyway. So I force myself into painting every day, um, even on days where I didn't really feel like it. And from there, I have a creative practice. I've learned more things and developed my painting further by doing that. You don't have to always take that route, but take the conscious decision. Am I going to do it anyway or am I going to give myself a break?